Oh, woo. Coke Zero, now more delicious. Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today on Ramblings, back to getting at it, guys. Back to getting at it. I'm kind of sad, um, but I'm, I'm excited too. I'm kind of, um, I feel like I'm, I'm missing something, but yet I'm excited about getting it back. Woo, yeah. Now we'll tell you I'm I've been behind the eight ball a little bit this week, which is fine. That's a good way to be, right? You wanna you wanna always be two steps ahead, right, in your thoughts and uh, maybe one step behind in your actions. That way you're you're always busy. You're always thinking about what's next and um, it keeps your mind active for one thing. Keeps your body active. Gives you that. Um, uh, that adrenaline rush to know that, man, I got to get on it. I got to get on it. And then you're getting on it, right? You're not two weeks behind because that would be terrible. When you start getting two weeks behind, uh, you start, uh, you know, start getting anxiety and uh, maybe even depression falls in there. That's like every time I start, airplane goes over, but that's because I live near a local airport. Um, I didn't think I lived near a local airport until I moved out here and started filming uh, YouTube videos, then it, it comes a plane every time, but it's okay, it's okay. Um, but I, I, I'm, I think I'm just in the right phase of being two steps ahead in the mind and one step ahead in the, in the, in the actions in the body. Y'all see that right behind me? That is a tree stand. I am uh, out putting tree stands and pop-up blinds up. Um, deer season started last weekend. Last weekend, you know, uh, we were, I was gone, did the uh, pops, trip got to see pops that was a wonderful wonderful time unfortunately i didn't get to see jen jen uh i you're like tim you i saw you you know no i heard you pick up pick her up and everything well i picked her up dropped her off at her you know with her daughter and then i did pops uh then i picked her back up and dropped her back off i didn't get to see jen jen hardly at all and uh the weekend before you know we were uh it's it just I, I really she hasn't been jen jen hasn't been on the ridge in a few weeks <gasps> i don't know if she misses it or she's uh kind of gotten it out of her system <laughs> I don't know. I, I hope she misses it. I hope she, you know, misses me. Um, so I'm excited because Jin Jin was actually supposed to work to, tomorrow, Saturday. And uh, Saturday is a little bit of a special day. Uh, at least for some people, Saturday is a special day. Saturday is a special day to me because it's my birthday. It's my birthday. Ice cream and cake. Ice cream and cake. Ice cream and cake. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. <laughs> um, so, uh, but she's not working tomorrow. She uh, she texted me last night and said, I'm not working tomorrow. Actually, it was this morning. And uh, no, it was yesterday. And then this morning, she said, I'll see you tonight. I was like, yes, it's Friday. Happy Friday. She's going to be coming out here tonight. It just feels like I haven't seen her in so long. Oh, my goodness. But um, uh, it's going to be a great weekend. Tomorrow's my birthday, and uh, I plan on working for you. I plan on uh, enjoying the day, uh, hopefully getting some videos out, because that tree stand behind me is going up here in just a minute. Um, Basically, by the time you watch this video, that tree stand will be in that tree right over there. And I got another tree stand to get up, pop-up blinds to get up. Deer season started, what, last weekend? And I have hunted zero. And I forgot to turn my phone off again. Let's see, who do you think this is? Who do you think this is? It's my mama. Grandma Carol says, let's see what Grandma Carol says. Mm, your clothes are finished. Want me to put, me, put them in the dryer? <laughs> <laughs> I do my laundry over her house, right? I don't have any washer and dryer in the ridge crib. Uh, let me tell her no thanks. No thanks. Boom. I will take care of that when I get back. But yes, um, no food plot this year. Um, I've got a big pile of trees in the middle of the hunting field where my food plot would normally be. Um, so no food plot this year. But I, uh, I will get out and get these tree stands up, get the pop-up lines up, and... Uh, uh, we're going to get a deer. We're going to get a deer. My goal is to get Morgan, my son, a buck and maybe Jin Jin a buck. She got her, uh, both of them have gotten does and I'd love for, uh, Morgan to get him a nice buck and Jin Jin to get her a buck. And I just want the back strap in the freezer. So, uh, I don't, I don't care what I get this year. Um, I'll probably get a buck. 
I'll probably end up getting a buck, but um, I'm gonna be taking a doe for sure. Uh, be bow hunting here. Hopefully next this I might bow hunt this weekend. Get the, I usually like when I get my tree stands and pop up lines up to let them sit out in the woods and quiet down a little bit. You're out there making a fuss and putting your scent everywhere, but these deer out here, my local deer, no no you know I'm all over the place, right? And uh, there's one area of the ridge I do not do not go to. I'm hoping there's bucks out there. I don't, I don't even have trail cams in that section. Um, that's their refuge, right? I leave a, I leave a little bit of the ridge for the the, the deer refuge. And uh, so hopefully there's some bucks out there. But all this area right here where I'm hunting, um, my local doe will be out here. And uh, now if the doe uh, still have fawns in spots, uh, they're lucky because I'll just let them walk on by. I do not. Uh, take a doe with fawn and spots not gonna happen once them doe once them fawns get big and they take care of themselves and everything uh, And they're weaned pretty much um, Mama got some good backstrap I'll tell you that right now mama doe got some good backstrap <sighs> um, Hopefully you enjoyed the video of me getting the uh, uh, two-thirds of the uh, power shed tiny house there tiny powerhouse uh, floor armor coated uh that's turned out really good really really well so many of you gave me great suggestions and said tim if you're gonna be putting your motorcycle in there your kickstand's gonna destroy that your tires are gonna destroy that you need to put a rubber mat down so i'm probably gonna go go i looked online amazon and all this stuff on amazon just looked like chinese junk so i'm probably gonna go up to tractor supply and maybe get me some cattle matting um some uh, barn matting and I think the barn matting will do great. Keep the kickstand from messing up the floor. Give me traction. And um, it is a Harley, so it's probably going to start leaking oil any time now. Uh, hope not. <laughs> Harley, you should, hopefully you fix that problem. I know a lot of y'all joke about Harley's uh, leaking oil. Now, my Ducati, never. Never, never, never. And that's a 2016 Ducati X Um My older Ducatis that I bought before that never leaked in either, so... That's hardly you learn something. But uh, I do hope I get to go see my uh, my family, my kids this weekend. They haven't contacted me to what they want to do. I'd love to see my uh, uh, granddaughter, Adley, and my new grandson, Jarrett. I've only seen him one time, and I was coming back from uh, the motorcycle trip, bikes, blues, and barbecue, and which I have not got the video out for you guys. I See, that's the whole two steps ahead, one step behind. I'm more like uh, nine steps behind and nine steps behind <laughs> because there's just so many video clips I'm having to go through, and I can't spend too much time because uh, I got to get other videos out to you. So I got to get, oh, I got to get uh, Little Donkey Andy. Look at this shirt. This shirt is amazing. Oh my goodness, this is Little Donkey Andy's hiking shirt. And uh, this video is not even, you know, one of the videos I'm doing for him. I'm wearing it when I'm putting the um, tree stands up. And I love this shirt. It's got this stretch fabric. Got this little zipper pocket right here. Ooh, it fits me perfectly. I love the, the plastic um, uh, pop zips right here. There's nothing when you wash them, they don't have to rust or anything. This, and this shirt just fits me perfectly. Don't you like the color of it too, blue? Does it match my eyes? Ooh. Find enough sun, sunlight right here to, to, to see my eyes. But little, little donkey Andy, thank you very much for this shirt. Uh, you'll be getting a video um, on me putting the tree stands up on Ridge Life, little donkey Andy. So that, that's that's a video you'll be seeing. But I'll send you a link of this just so you know how much I love it. Yeah, they've been really nice to us. I got uh, Jin Jin got a vest. Uh, she's gonna wear I think I showed it off on a live stream the other night and of course I I got a, a, a fishing shirt Morgan got a fishing shirt I got this hiking shirt and I plan on doing lots uh, of cooperation with little donkey Andy because I really love uh, their products I mean this this is really good stuff I do recommend little donkey Andy I like I've never had a problem with it and the material and the threading and everything has just been just perfect so far uh, I'll leave a link down in the description for you if you're interested. I hadn't planned on doing that. Again, this is not, you know, uh, it's not, I didn't, you know, <laughs> I just, I just happened to be wearing it. 15% um, off with the uh, Life 15 code. <laughs> Man, I, I just, I think I'm pretty good at this whole uh, product review thing. I, 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 just, <laughs> I wouldn't even ask to and I just do it. <laughs> All right, some of y'all get to get tired of that stuff. But uh, when, you, when you highly recommend a product, you know, you, you, you got to get behind it, right? Get behind it. <laughs> mm. so um 
let's see what else we got bikes blues and barbecue video coming out you got the tree stand video coming out and then the big thing all next week you're going to get some amazing content because i've got the foundation being put in for the barn dominium that's right another one of the, those huge hurdles, right? The foundation, the, the cornerstone, the, the, the most important part of a build. Your house is only as good as the foundation in which it's built. And uh, that's why I'm not doing it. <laughs> I got the professionals doing the foundation. Um, and uh, so they're gonna come, come out Monday. Everything's drying up nicely. The mud pit is just more a, uh, a little bit of a, a damp swamp right now up there. By Monday, it's gonna be uh, gonna be a-okay. Uh, actually, I gotta get up there. What I'd like to do is use my uh, Wild Badger electric mower and mow around the, uh, the foundation area. That way, uh, it looks good on video for one thing, and there's less, you know, less, uh, for them to have to worry about, you know, with all the high grass and stuff. Because it is growing. And all that rain we've had, you know, the two tropical storms that came through here. We had two, uh, we had six and a half inches of rain on one and about four inches of rain on the other. So we got tons of rain. So that grass is growing great around that area. So I'll have to get that mower out there. I also like to get my box blade out of my tractor and box blade this driveway before they come out. Get it all smoothed out. That way they don't leave, uh, you know, they don't uh, make ruts and stuff with their big heavy equipment. Whenever you fill in areas with the gravel, uh, box blading it, keeping it maintained, uh, it helps uh, prevent those type of issues when the big heavy equipment come out. You don't, you don't just let it get big giant divots and the rain comes and you got a big mud puddle. And so I've got a couple areas where I've been driving on big heavy equipment and stuff, the well truck. Um, where some mud has been brought in and there's mud on top of the gravel. I get that box blade on there, smooth all that out, distribute that, get the gravel back over it, level it out. So uh, maybe I'll do that um, tomorrow or Sunday as well, I'm trying to get that, uh, everything ready for the foundation. Foundation prep, okay? Uh, I, got a, I got a porta potty up there for them. I wanted to have my gazebo up to give them a place to uh, get out of the sun, to take their breaks and stuff. Uh, but I do not have my gazebo up. That's right, Tim's got a gazebo. I got a Domi gazebo. Um, it's not like Country Road. I mean, it's not like uh, uh, Simple Life Reclaims that they're putting up. It's not like David's uh, pergola he's putting up. It is completely different. And I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna fit my design. I may end up having to do some color modification because they did not have a black roof. I got one with the close to black as possible. And it has the wood grain uh, columns I think it's going to look good. I may end up having to paint the roof, but it, that'll be okay. Uh, I'll find, that'll be okay. Paint the trim and all that. You'll, you'll see it. It's, it's going to be beautiful. That's what the sono tubes are for. The sono tubes, the concrete sono tubes were not for the uh, solar carport. Remember I'm doing the 16 by 16 by 20 um, uh, concrete footers for the, for the piers uh, for the solar carport. So the sono tubes are going to be for the gazebo. See, you're getting all the beans spilled today. And I just went up. Uh, to the top of the ridge and I got one uh, concrete footer hole that's got about uh, 16 inches of water in it. I know I could pump it out and everything but that's that's not on the agenda for today. Um, so uh, probably while they're building the foundation and I'm videoing that I'll be working on the foundation footers for the solar carport because I'll be up there videoing them while I'm working. Yes that's right. Tim from Ridge Life actually do some work. <laughs> if you saw me putting these tree stands up and getting them out, because just getting it over here uh, by hand was a pain in the butt, but uh, I'm actually not putting them up by hand. David from Come On Home said, and I think I told you this on a previous rambling, uh, told me how to do it with a tractor. So it's going to get dangerous. I mean, it's going to be dangerous enough for me climbing up. I've never, matter of fact, guys, when I go up on these tree stands to put the ratchet straps, this will be the first time I've climbed uh, a ladder since my knee surgery. And uh, these are about 18 feet up and uh, unstable. Uh, I got to put the ratchet straps on them to get them stable. Um, it'd be the first time I've done that since my knee surgery. The, the highest I've stepped, I've, I've gone up a, a kind of two, a, a two or three foot step ladder, a little A-frame ladder, a couple, couple steps but I've never climbed up and that, that, that doesn't have ladder rungs. That just has, you know, round rungs, you know? So gonna be dangerous, gonna be dangerous. I'm thinking, but my knee, my knee is doing great. I am, I am, I am. 
it still has a little bit of pain. Grandma Carol saw me carrying some stuff down her stairs yesterday and she said, oh, are you okay? You're, 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 you're walking like you did after your surgery. Uh, I said, no, I'm carrying stuff. And I, 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 I did do a lot yesterday and uh, it was a little fatigued, but it wasn't uh, injured or anything. No, I'm, I'm, I think I'm good there. So then of course, while the foundation is getting done, I've also got to go harvest honey from the bees. I think it is October. I'd like to get the, uh, the honey off the bees by the middle of October. Uh, that way, anything else that uh, they bring in can be for them for the winter. I want to make sure that they've got enough to get them through the winter. I don't want to take all their honey, that's for sure. So we need to go check them to see where they're at on that. This wet weather and the warm we, warmth we've had right now is really great because the goldenrod is just a kick in, a kick in the nectar flow. So bees are really happy right now. Um, I mean, they're, they're happy with their nectar. When I go over to take it from them, they won't be happy at all. They're going to be like, get away from me. <laughs> sting, 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 sting. <sighs> I don't want to get stung again, but I probably will. I probably will. I don't like it. Ooh, I swell up like a balloon when I get, when I get stung. Mm. So I did get my new Sony camera back, or my original Sony A7C. This is a Sony a A6700 I'm using right now. Uh, but I did get my original A7C back, which is a little bit nicer camera. And I'm looking at what lens to buy for it because the lens that was on it got destroyed. It was not repairable. And uh, so I'm looking at a really nice lens. Uh, so it can, it can go back to be my primary vlogging lens. And I'll use this one for all the getting out there. And it's got, it's got a little bit of a zoom on it and stuff. You know, that'd be my, my, my run and gun. Uh, but that one would be my vlogging and, and really good quality, uh, you know, it's got a real wide uh, angle lens on it, so you can really get more up close. Whereas this one, I got the camera has to be a little farther away, you know, to get to get up closer. You have to zoom in and, and just and all that video tech stuff, you know. But all right, guys, I am going to get back to work. Um, that's right, Tim does work. You know, not more than just working his mouth and drinking Coke Zero. Love all of you so much, and I'll have more videos coming out on Ridge Life. Make sure you check it out. I'm actually working on one for Ridge Life's reviews and how-tos as well. A little more in-depth one of uh, one you saw on Ridge Life. A lot of people are saying, "Ooh, I need to get one of those." What are the specs? Well, I'm going to be telling you the specs on it here pretty soon. Usually, when I use something on Ridge Life, it's really, really good product. I'll do a Ridge Life's reviews and how-tos, give you a little bit more information, if you know what I mean. So, guys, until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling. Go Ridge Life. Woo!